They might have one or two ribs in them. Should have four in. Oh. Took what the first four? No, there'll be three ribs from there and one of the tank. Oh, you've got a tank one done, have you? Oh. Well, that's good, that one. And that'll be riveted in. Oh, that, oh, that's riveted, the others are bolted. Yeah, the, the others are, are, are bolted. They're bolted through there, yeah. and then they're riveted through the flange, oh. the other ones. Yeah. But them ones just rivet straight into the, yeah. the tank ribs of these ones. Oh, they're the... Uh, that's where they fit, yeah. That's where they fit, yeah. Oh, you can just say, you can see the coloured rivets in there now, can't Oh, you? definitely, yeah. yeah. Sort of there, that, that, that centre one there was a mag rivet and the head's gone. But the rest of them are, are in dominion, the, 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 yeah. the real rivets. So they've been replaced, but that one hasn't. And then now that one's gone. And we've had the same thing on, on, on the joint plates where some have been mag and some have been indium. Yeah. What about 23? Has that been assembled yet, the, the box section? No, uh, that's still underneath the bench. Yeah. Um, Bit of a low priority at the minute because we've been trying to um, sort that spar out, yeah. to be honest. And the so spar's on K now, is it? Seem to fit yes. into the jig well with the bolts? Yeah, eventually, yeah. yeah. It took a bit of um, jiggery pokery because it all moved, you see. Yeah. Because the damage we found on it when we first got it, where it possibly had been dropped on the floor was ribs 17, 16, 15 and 14 were sort of pushed in at the bottom. So it obviously had a, a, an impact of some sort like that. And it may have moved the spar slightly. So when, when we relaxed it and redone it and then put all the together, it hasn't quite sat in the old properly. So he's had to uh, put, adjust the hole slightly, yeah. make it fit. And now we've got it in there, we can... Uh, yeah. Bolt it in, start assembling it, yeah. and then when it comes to our port wing, we can copy them holes onto fresh plates, yeah. and so we can start afresh. Yeah. And when it comes to the starboard wing, the French starboard wing, you won't even bother putting that into the jig. Just, no, just, just assemble it because you know it's bent. Yeah. It, it ain't going to fit the jig well, no matter what you do. When you get the booms off of that one, will they be bent? Well, we don't know. Um, this, uh, this is the thing, because the, the, the web, which is, gosh, it's, it, it's 14 gauge, 16 gauge, it, is rippled. Oh. If that's rippled, it could just be holding the spar up, because it, it, it physically can't get back to where it was. Yeah. So when we come to and bolt it, there might be a big bang, and it might go bang, and yeah. go straight, if we're lucky. Otherwise, we'd have to uh, start scratching our heads big yeah. time. Would you be able to, with it only being static and taxi and would you be able to straighten it if it got a slight we, we bend? We might be able to pack the bottom out to get it right. We'll, we'll have to have a look at it. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll, That's a long we'll, time we'll in the future though, isn't it? One, what we can do with it. A few years down the road, that yeah. is, isn't it? We well, might just close the hangar doors on it and sort of bend it across it. <laughs> yeah, it looks about straight than me. That's all right. <laughs> So these are the navigation lights, and these have moved further down the fuselage than the were. Yeah, two, two, two frames. Two frames down, words, yeah. 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 They were um, obviously folded yeah. the door. So yeah. And what is supporting them? Do they call them intercostals? Yeah, yeah. We've used some of the original intercostals, which um, were okay, nice, nice to rescue, but there's a lot of new ones going to yeah. have to go. But on all occasions, I call these navigation lights. They are actually identification lights. They have been refitted in the correct wartime position. Still got quite a bit of work to do, haven't you? I've dropped onto this door frame and I'm giving myself a break from it because it's quite tight even for me to get in and out of there. Yeah. Constantly, it's getting between the stringers to work on it. And Phil's been back to do a bit more on his door. Um, I thought he'd just about uh, complete it. He has, he has now some, some slight modifications to it. Yeah. So the next thing he's going to do is do he's going to make um, 
this this skin here. Obviously, obviously that's no good. But. After the war, the Canadians moved the identification light two frames further down the fuselage. This was to give them room to fit other equipment. Since last time I was here, they've added seven ribs to the rear wing spot of NX664 the French wing. Keith has bolted and riveted them into place. This is to do with the French wing. Keith told me how they would construct a jig for rebuilding the front spar, including being able to add the leading edge of the spar before fitting it to the structure built up from the rear spar. I suggested to John that what we do is have another set. See these T pieces that the the rear spars mounted on. Yeah, the jig. Yeah. We're going to have another four of them made to go in the slots that you move over. Because yeah. when you build it from one wing to the other, all you do is unbolt all their slot and move it over to the other oval slots. You see in the in the beams that are on the floor, there's oval slots cut. That's right, yeah, I can so see you move, that. It, you move it over to there. Yeah. So what I said was, if we have another four T-pieces made and put them in those slots, so you've got two sets, then you can build the front spar on that, build it up completely, then all you've got to do is lift, lift it, it up, up. drop yeah. it on. Yeah. And then when you come to do the right hand, you've got the pedestals in place to build the right hand. Yeah. You don't need to unbolt everything and move it all over, it's already there. And then vice versa, yeah. you build the, the spar on the left hand one, a set of uh, pedestals, and build the front spar on the right hand. And then all you've got to do is lift it up, drop it off. You bring in all the wing work inside the footprint, the jig. So you regain that space yeah. that the spars are on on the trestles with that. Because once that we've got those, those will go on top of there and then that will be a clear area down yeah. the middle. Completely assembled as per the, the bottom one. Yeah. be a complete web, you know, a complete spar assembly. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll rib it on the um, leading edge. Ribs, ribs. Yeah. they'll go on, and then the stringers will get installed, yeah. and everything, and then the r hard riveted, solid riveted skins will be fitted, so that it will end up as a complete unit. Oh, is, oh I see you've started <coughs> a, a new structure for the MPs. But we can't, we can't set it yet because of not having it in the right position. We don't know. There's a little bit of sag in the spar because it's quite flimsy there. Quite a bit of weight in this. Yeah. Now. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Just, right, just give it another shake then. Um. And when you check it, there's a little bit of a tiny Sa little bit of sag. Yeah. There, because of the weight. Because oh. he's quite thin here. As you can see, it's, it's yeah, going it's out. out slightly. Yeah. yeah. So we've got to set that before we put this jig in. And yeah. what we're going to have is two of these, two cross beams. A lot of work ahead of you now. Yeah, we're just just going through. It's still like a learning curve, isn't yeah. it? You know, no one's no one's ever done yeah. since these were done. No yeah. one's ever done one. No, no. So you can't phone someone up and say, "How did you do that, no. mate?" <laughs> Those three ribs there. Are they quite firm? Because there's quite a big gap between the two stones, oh, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, they're all. Oh, they're all oh yeah. Yeah, I mean you've only got a bit of shape for the the length. Yeah, but once you get the uh, top section on, and because that will govern it, and then these are riveted through here, and you've got an angle bracket either side. Yeah. So yeah. the holes um, are where the holes are. Yeah. So you got the new bolts in here and you've got it also riveted then. Oh yeah. So yeah. completely set this 
yeah, that, section on, of ribs. On the rear, yeah. 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 So, we, we haven't got any more, we haven't got any more painted at the moment. No. I think John's got, Oops. he's got one there. So as soon as he's finished that, that'll get positioned yeah. and riveted up. Right, nice. I've only just noticed the structure's gone. And this you'll bolt into, you've got, I mean, I'm in two of these made. Yeah, no, we're, we've got, this is the old structure that we've taken down from there. We're re reusing it. Yeah, I see, you're modifying it. To yeah, and modifying it one. to create two, yeah. two pieces. Yeah. And then we'll have, we've got two uprights to go in. Yeah. And then we'll have the beams fitted. So they, what we think they uh, make onto is this area here. That area there and that area there, which are the two strong points. Yeah. Oh, that, which are bolted through. See these brackets. And there's a bracket on that's, the side yeah. there. That one. See, that's yeah. quite a thick, hefty bracket. I'll be on the trestles, yeah, but the, the rivets are backwards and forwards. All, all the angles are already riveted on. That's yeah. why it's in that position there. Yeah. So, you'll rivet it along here yeah. onto the web and these will be shall we say this is the the top these will be riveted solid rivets yeah well whatever side yeah one side so, is solid one one side is how uh, will you get your hand under is the um, because this skin, side will be open yeah oh the skin doesn't come all the way around like that no it's in three parts oh, there's oh a skin yeah. here yeah there's a cap skin yeah. And then there's another skin. Oh, I was thinking it was one unit. No, I, no, no, no. And I've been thinking, how the hell are they going to get the hands in there to no. do the riveting? No. See, on, on the intermediate ones, where well, there's a rib, but there's no rib on the bottom. So this is the wing rib. This is the lower main surface. Wing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the lower surface. Yeah. Or the aft surface when it is. Because that's, that's how it would be installed in the aircraft, like that. <coughs> and yeah. then your ribs come out from there. To the leading edge. The leading edge, yeah. Your main rib, uh, ribs attach. Those big ones that we fitted yeah. up, that's where they attach. Yeah. And then in between it, there's not there's not another rib, so that's why there's just an angle on the top to hold a leading edge yeah. and, um, rib. Yeah. So it's well, <coughs> it's well secured here, isn't it? Plenty of rivets then. Oh yeah, that's the, 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 the joint. joint here. Oh. Oh. And you say something about marked in red? Is... Yes, so these have got to have uh, other... They're marked in red because they're the ones that are in paint at the moment. Oh. And they've got to have an angle fitted on this back side. Oh. I marked them in red so I didn't rivet them up. Not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the two different coloured rivets? Just a different thing. They're the same rivets, but a different number. One, one will be AS, another one will be SPs. What's the difference in AX and SPs? One's like 50, 60 years old, the AS ones, oh. and SP are, are modern. Yeah, I see. So you didn't have. They're kind of the old ones, are they? Yeah, they're so, it just used up what we've got. Ah. They're all the same rivet, it's just that. Uh, they're all new, but you've yeah, got Yeah, but what back got then there. they didn't used to. <clears throat> the, the very early ones, they didn't use the dye no. purple until they changed to the so they did one. And this is where the um, engine control box with the pulleys in, yeah. that's where that mounts. They're the one with the chain driven ones. I haven't got a clue what it is, all I know is I repaired the box, it's an empty box to me. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. repaired that, that's yeah. been painted. Yeah. And, uh, and I know that's where it goes. <laughs> Well, I haven't got a clue what goes inside it. No. Not my department. No, no.